Which G4 camera should you buy? Well, that's the question I'm hoping to answer for you today. I've recently reviewed the G4 PTZ, Ubiquiti's most expensive camera, but realistically, you're likely to deploy the other cameras in the G4 range within your home or business. So in front of me, I have the G4 Dome, the G4 Bullet, and the G4 Pro. We're gonna put these head to head and see how they get on. First, let me start with the price range. The G4 Bullet, which is this one here, comes in at $199 or 203 euros. The G4 Dome, which is this one here, this comes in at $179 or 189 euros. And the most expensive in the lineup is the G4 Pro, which is $449 or 460 euros. What makes the difference between these cameras? Well, let's take a look and see the specifications of them. The G4 Pro shows off with a 4K resolution, whereas the dome and the bullet has a 1440p resolution. For zoom, the Pro once again has a three time optical zoom. However, again, the bullet and the dome has no mention of a zoom capability. However, there is digital zoom within the software. All three of these cameras do have microphones built in. The field of view for the cameras varies a little bit. The Pro has the widest at 110 degrees horizontal and 60 degrees vertical. The Bullet has the same 60 degree vertical and 86 degrees horizontal. And the Dome has 102 degrees horizontal and 71 degrees vertical. For the sensor on each camera, the Pro has an eight megapixel sensor. And you'd expect the bullet and the dome to be the same. However, the bullet has a five megapixel sensor and the dome has a four megapixel sensor. Finally, the weatherproofing. The G4 Pro has IP67 rated, but no mention of any vandal resistance. Both the bullet and the dome has an IPX4 weather resistant, which means it can take a bit of splash of water. And the bullet has an IK04 vandal resistant and the dome IK08 which basically means it can withstand a slightly bigger impact from a higher distance. But that's enough of the technical specs. Let's have a look at the cameras themselves and then we'll go outside and test them in both the daytime and nighttime. So in front of me, we have the three cameras set up. Uh, you can see a straight away with the size difference. The Pro is a little bit bigger than the, the bullet itself. Uh, in terms of the dome, we have um, the little plastic shield on the front which it shows it can be removed. So if there's any dust or anything that gets in there, that can be removed. It's also able, you're able to turn it. So once you've mounted it on the back, it's a similar sort of mount to the Wi-Fi access point. So just put, screw that onto the wall and you can pop that in. And then you've got the little pin. You've got the little pin down the side to remove the camera from the wall. It's got the weatherproof housing on there. So you can pop that in if you're, which you're most likely gonna be mounting this outside. The G4 Bullet has the Ubiquiti Blue logo, but actually the G4 Pro has the uh, gray one, which is uh, interesting. Again, similar sort of mount. To the Bullet and the Pro will have a similar sort of mount with the two at the back, two screws, just pop those in and you can get that onto the wall. The Pro itself is definitely heavier. It uses this clamp here to actually loosen and tighten from the wall. So once you get that screwed in and then you just turn this and loosen it and you take this off and there we go. You have the ethernet port in the back here and you have your waterproof cable housing here. So pop your cable through here and then you should be good to make that water tight. That's the main differences physically looking at these devices. So let's get them outside, get them mounted and see how they look. I have positioned these three cameras in a line uh, going out looking into the garden. So I've put all three of them side by side so you can have a quick look at the field of view in terms of how wide you can see. I'm just gonna quickly walk down to the back of the garden and I'll come back. And alongside that, I'll take my number plate with me as well. So I don't know how much of the number plate you can see, but I'm gonna start walking towards now. Um, it's a bit wet here in England today, And hopefully you can start seeing how clear this number plate is now. Uh, and this is where I was roughly standing, which is approximately about three to four, about three to five meters away. I'm gonna go ahead now and test this in the evening and we'll see what sort of results we get.
One thing I want to point out to you, as you can see on the screen at the moment, it is night time and you can see the picture on how it looks. So you can see the top is the bullet, the middle is the dome and the pro is the bottom. So just keep that in mind. I do live in England, so it does rain quite a bit. So just keep that one in mind when you are placing these and mounting these in terms of the rain. This is the audio test for the G4 dome. Hopefully you can hear this. This is the test for the G4 dome. This is a audio test for the G4 bullet. I'm testing the audio on this camera, so hopefully you can hear this. This is the audio test for the G4 Pro. I hope you can hear the audio on this. This is the test for the G4 Pro. Here's me walking towards the back of the garden. You can see me holding the number plate. I think the IR sensors are reflecting off it, but it gives you a rough idea anyway. You can see the Pro is the clearest out of all of them. I hope you found this video useful and it gives you a bit more of an insight into which camera you need if you're building out a unified protect security system. Links are all down in the description below. Always again, it's appreciated if you do use them as it helps me out. This is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.